first kangaroo experience and you were behind the wheel. I know, they were quite far away but I just saw these massive jumping ground things and yeah, we um, managed to get closer to one which to kind of stop by the side of the road and we saw our first kangaroo on this trip. Yay! So this place is called 1770 Southern Cross. I think it was a backpacker, so it was a backpackers originally, but they've changed that name to Travelers, I think, obviously because we have no international backpackers at the moment. It's just based now on campers and motorhomes, um, paying for pounding and power site, but there's also little cabins, but this place is just so nice. I can imagine how nice this was when it had all the international backpackers here. It just would have been the nicest, most fun place, I think. And we lucked out and we've got this beautiful spot right here by this little lake. We've got this little kayak down here if you want to use it, but we're going to have an early dinner and just sit in the afternoon sun and enjoy it. Okay, we've got some time to kill and the sun was still shining, so we thought we'd set up the solar panel. Uh, getting about 70 watts out of it right now, um, but at least it works. We know that we're going to be Good if we ever get stuck somewhere we still have power uh, yeah so just having a little wander around this place and it seems like it was a pretty cool place back in its heyday when it was a backpackers um, but it's still cool it's just not for backpackers and this is strawberry the horse veggie sausage wrap Try to make it a little bit healthier than the normal. But yeah, how nice is this? We're just sat here making our dinner. There's this beautiful view just outside of Agnes Water. Tomorrow I'll be exploring 1770 and Agnes Water. I want to go to the paper bark trail or forest, I think. And then I want to go and do it. So I think there's a lookout at 1770 we've done for and just have a little walk on the beach. Um, and that's it pretty much. Just enjoy. But for now, dinner time. So it's a relatively short path, this one, it's just a 400 metre trail. How cool is this place? The leaves here seem so vibrant and green. And then you've got all these paper bark trees, they're just really cool and contrasted. But I love this, they've just put some stepping stones here, it's so simple but it makes this path real fun and I can see why this is such a little tourist spot because people love getting photos here. So we found out during heavy rain where those stepping stones are actually gets covered in water. So stepping stones are like platforms in water, yeah. So that's really cool, I'd love to see it like that. But I've also read online that when there is a lot of water, there is a heavy amount of mosquitoes. So make sure you have your bug spray because I can imagine that will be pretty hectic if you come here probably during wet season. But yeah, we really love it here, don't we? Yeah, it was nice. It's really nice, it's so pretty and I think in the morning it'd be beautiful but the light's still nice now. Everything's so green and pretty. It's just that really nice, um, like, filtered light through the trees. It's really pretty. It is. We've just got to 1770 and it's so beautiful here. The water is so calm. It's like a natural, like a sandbar, which protects this little area for boats and they can just 
anchor up here. There's people out there pedal boarding and we're just gonna stop for some food and drinks and then we're gonna go and explore. Let's go make some lunch. Uh, we're having a barbecue with this view. It's perfect. But yeah, free barbecues and we're just cooking up some veggie sausages. Gonna have some mushrooms and peppers and then have some wraps. Let's go. Found a nice little picnic bench around the corner. So we are going to the Headland Walk now, um, which I think we have done before when we came to 1770 maybe 2017, 2016. No um, but we are gonna go back up there today and show you guys around. And then maybe <laughs> afterwards we might go for a little dip because it's getting warm and I am a sweaty man. We have come to the 1770 headland and we are at Busted Bay Lookout um, and there is a part of this track which is unkept and not recommended to go but we are just taking a little walk up that way onto the rocks and gonna have a little look from this point up here but it seems like a great spot to go and check out the surf you can see all the way around and I'm pretty sure this is where Captain James Cook maybe first spotted or first landed we'll check it we made it! Can we get close to the edge? No! We've returned from our little headland adventure and actually from the car park there's a path that goes directly down to the beach. So we're going to have a little pop down there now. I think Corey's going to have a little swim. beach the next mission very important is to find a good spot and we're just going to chill there and wait for sunset I know this is a different one I don't think I've ever cooked like this on the beach before but it's really nice we just decided we really wanted to catch the sunset before we left 1770 and we thought we'd have dinner on here too. So we just made a little ravioli and look at our view. We're just watching the last bit of the sunset and I think that having dinner on the beach is gonna be something we do a lot more often. Here in Agnes Water, and we've got a three hour road trip, and we're going to go to Yapoon. Yeah. 